So in this video, I'll show what happens when you pair a delta delta or DD0 and YY0. Basically, delta delta transformer with no phase shift between the primary and secondary and the YY transformer with no phase shift between the primary and secondary. So, so what I will do, so let's start with the vector group. So delta delta zero. So I can draw something like this. So you have H1, H2, H3, then delta secondary. So X1, X2, and X3. So there is no, no phase shift, basically. So if I draw, so if I draw the phasers for this one, so so here's H1, H2, H3. So I'm assuming a positive sequence uh, rotation counterclockwise. So as the phasers rotate, you know, H1 will go first, H2, then H3. So then, since there is no phase shift between the two deltas, that means they will be in parallel with zero degrees between them. So this is X1, X2, and this is X3. And I drew them kind of x ones smaller in magnitude, just signifying probably it's the, so it's the secondary voltage. Now I'll go back to the YY. So we'll do the YY zero. So again, I'm going to call this H1 prime, H2 prime, H3 prime and X1 prime x2 prime x3 prime so there's uh so this one here delta uh, so delta d d zero that means there is no phase shift between the two deltas so this one it's y y zero that means there is no phase shift between the two y's so again i'll draw the phasers so here's H1 prime, H2 prime, and here's H3 prime. So if I draw the X1 prime, X2 prime, X3 prime, so there is no phase shift that's why they are overlapping or they are in parallel now if you take these phasers basically and overlap them with these phasers so what you get x1 would be basically you know, uh, they would be in parallel. So they would be overlapping with X1 prime. So there is no phase shift basically between them. So then if I assume, so X1 is at one per unit, X1 prime is at one per, per unit with an angle of zero, then you take the difference between the two secondaries. So there is no voltage or phase difference. Thank you and have a great day.